So here's Donna with another video of what I've been up to lately. Just a little compilation of bits and pieces. Why are men so frustrating? Shopping with my boyfriend is a friggin' nightmare. Honest to God. Putting stuff away in the fridges and the cupboard is a nightmare in itself as well because he's keeled on the floor trying to get in the freezer, faffing around with everything and I'm trying to get in the fridge putting other stuff away and then half the time I just want to push him to the floor and move him out road because I ain't got time for this shit. I'm actually trying to be annoyed right now and I can't do it because he doesn't take me seriously. You know, since this lockdown bloody started... I actually haven't missed going shopping at Tesco because it's a palaver every single time. It's like right now, I'm trying to get stuff sorted out for when our guests arrive and he's sat on his arse. Don't strain yourself, baby. I'd hate for you to break a finger. I have to be quiet as my partner is asleep now. So Earlier on this evening, I noticed that little Oreo's left paw is quite swollen. Um, we've had a look online to see what the causes could be, but I've actually had to like take it to the vets tomorrow and get a paw checked out if they're allowing me to. Um, it could have been a sprain or anything, so we're not taking any chances and we are a little bit worried about her. She does seem herself though, I'm not going to lie, she doesn't seem to show any signs of pain. It's just if you faff with the paw, she gets a little bit irritated by it, so she must be getting a little bit of discomfort. So for the evening, um, I've got to try and keep an eye on it. I'm staying up until at least 11 o'clock, maybe half 11, just to see if any swelling goes down. So just to add to the video as well, um, from tomorrow, June the 15th, it is now compulsory to have a mask on public transport. Uh, my neighbour, one of my neighbours, has said to me that she can give me this one. So when I take the cat to the vets tomorrow, I have to catch the bus as I can't have my partner out of work as well as me. Um, I'm going to be wearing this on the bus tomorrow and it fits very nicely as well so I'm really happy about that and it's got cute little polka dots as well so little missus is going to be almost riding in style and so will I in a way um, on the bus tomorrow so a little update on Oreo I've just had a shower as you can see I'm like I need to dry my hair before I go to bed so this morning I rang the vets at 9 o'clock, explained the situation with Oreo and by the morning her swelling of a paw had gone down quite a bit. It was still obviously there but there was a big difference in its size. Uh, the vets did say that I could still bring her in if I wanted to or I could just observe any changes in her pora or in her behaviour to suggest that there may be a bigger problem underneath. Uh, so I've settled for the observing of the paw uh, for a couple of days, obviously because the swine had gone down. She hasn't shown any unusual signs of... Um, poor behaviour or listlessness, anything like that. So uh, I think it's sort of safe to say that the cat, my baby, is okay. Yeah, mm. yeah. Hi, that pretty kitty. Hi, that tail. See, the pretty kitty. This is her left paw that was swollen. It has definitely decreased in size and... This makes mummy very happy, but right now Oreo does not look very happy and the tail is twitching, so I'm going to put her down before I suffer the injuries of war. I think it's safe to say that this little problem has had its day. So we had a really big thunderstorm last night. It was like one thunder thing and then it was that loud. It was like an explosion. It actually woke me up and I'm a deep sleeper. 
Also, when I got up this morning, I noticed they looked quite hazy outside. I thought at first it was just cloudy. Had a look out the window and it's actually foggy. Like there's actual fog in the air and I couldn't make sense of it at first. And I just thought the weather seems to be acting up today or something, but as long as it doesn't rain again before I get home. I've put my pack away jacket in my bag just in case, but it's far too warm to wear a jacket or a coat at the moment. So I've just got off the bus. Uh, it's now compulsory to wear these as of Monday. This Monday just gone. Uh, my neighbour made this for me, which is very nice of her. Uh, however, my face is very, very sweaty under here. Uh, but nobody had the windows open on the bus, so obviously that was generating some heat. And now I've got major face sweat, but it has helped. And obviously kept social distancing as well. So now I'm just heading to work. I've got a one more half day to get through, and then that's it for two days. I'm looking forward to my two days off. Uh, I'm not sure what the next two days will bring. <laughs> It's nice to see life is coming back, but I do miss the roads being ever so quiet. So I'm getting to get the six hours out of the way and head home on the bus, so I'll speak to you soon. So I have finished my six hour shift. I now have two days off and no idea what I'm going to do with them. So when I get home, I can make up a plan of things to do. We look to have another thunderstorm or something on the way, looking at that cloud. I'm about to get absolutely piss wrapped. It is really dark with cloud. Thank God for having my jacket with me. The heavens opened and threw it down. It's still raining. It's still very muggy and warm. And we do have some thunder and lightning. So all the thunder looks like it's moving on now. The sky has gone a bit lighter, like the clouds are not as dark and ominous as they were before. Um, I'm a little bit damp, but I actually managed to avoid the worst of it because I had to pop to the shop. And then it calmed down a little bit walking back to the house. So I didn't get too wet. So at four o'clock, I have somebody come in to look at the front door as we've been having trouble with the front door as well. The door tends to bow, like bend it out of its shape. And we've had help to make a formal complaint because no one will do anything about it. So someone's come in today to take a look at the front door for some reason. They want to have a look as well, even though the pictures have been provided uh, with measurements and so on. So we're just going to have to wait and see now and see what they say. They'll probably take some pictures themselves. Hopefully the door will be bowed enough to get those pictures and so on. We've showed them all the problems with the door that should have been resolved sooner. They'll probably just say it's thermal expansion again, but thermal expansion does not make a door bend. It's meant to expand, as it's described in the uh, phrase of thermal expansion. We've been trying to get this sorted out since we moved into the house in 2018, and now it's come to this situation. So hopefully it can be resolved peacefully and uh, respectfully and we can hit the nail on the head uh, nip it in the board and get the door sorted out so quite a lot was said about the door um a guy came who took pictures of the door and um, they took some pictures of the frame but my um the frame wasn't needed because the frame was okay it was the door that was bending in the warmth now it's just a case of waiting on some sort of full report now from the people that are dealing with it and see what they decide to do as it's had to escalate higher up in the hierarchy to just to get the front door sorted out. So fingers crossed on that one. So I look forward to hearing about this report. So good afternoon everybody, um, this is the next day and I've not really been doing very much, maybe a little bit of procrastinating, I'm still feeling a bit tired so it's going to be one of them days where it's just going to consist again of cleaning the house and sitting on the computer, it is really really boring but you know it's like raining outside so it's really like 
I don't know, it's just one of them kind of days where if it's raining and that, my mood kind of reflects the weather. And then if it's sunny, it's like I want to get out there and have a good time and have fun and do something. But today, it's just kind of like... And my mood is probably about the same as the weather right now. I'm happy to report that Oreo's swelling has completely gone on her left paw and she is still being Oreo. Both of my babies are okay, doing what they do best. Um, sharing the love with one another as always. Case in point. We have a loafer in the ranks. So I was on Facebook last night and I noticed this cute little post about um, putting a photo image on uh, your newsfeed and what you do is when somebody comments on it, it will, um, you write it down on a piece of paper Put it somewhere for like a year or till next year and then you open it up and have a look and see what people have written on it so far I've only had two but I think it's a nice idea to um, to try really and I don't know what the aim of it is so maybe sometime I'll find out the reason behind it I don't have a jar yet so for now this will make do, um, just a tin. Uh, maybe I can invest in a cute little crafting jar where people tend to put stuff in. But for me, I'll put these little scrolly things in instead. So I'm gonna call it a day for this uh, video. I've gotta get some ironing done because my build up of clothes is um, getting a little bit uncontrollable. So while I'm gonna get my ironing done, I'm going to listen to a bit of Queen Live Aid. Uh, obviously with Queen being one of my favourite bands. If you've enjoyed my video, please hit subscribe, tap on the bell if you want notifications when a video goes up online. Like I said before, this video was a bit of a mishmash of things that I've been up to. Um, hopefully I can get some videos done uh, that are a little bit more focused on something. I actually wanted to do like uh, reaction videos to songs like Queen and that because I love Queen so much. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for the time being, so I hope you all have a good day and stay safe.